It's a wild weekend. Wild weekend, lots of rain and lots of wind. No, thank you. Yeah, things are starting to quiet down now tonight. We're going to still experience the wind, but it won't be like what we saw today or with those storms that passed through and impacted mm -hmm. uh, those of us with that storm. We had a great sunset tonight, too. A few clouds still passing by the Fargo-Moorhead area, and it really helped to... Uh, create a nice framing for the colors that were out there this evening that uh, we've enjoyed a little bit of light into the nine o'clock hour now things looking really rather quiet out there 62 degrees in Fargo we have wind out of the west northwest at 14 miles per hour much less than what we were seeing and that dew point very dry 48 degrees for us right now here's a look at winds across the area we are quieting down out to the west because that low that's kicking up all this wind continues to move eastward so the wind the strongest wind Wind gusts are going to be closer to that low, but dead and over toward Bemidji, we're seeing some wind gusts into the 30s, 28 miles per hour in Thief River Falls, and over toward Grand Forks, and then farther uh, west from there, things are a little bit quieter. That's also where we're seeing more of the rain. We've been dealing with some cloudy and rainy skies up in northeastern parts of our viewing area today, and still some sprinkles in that region, perhaps even a couple over into Lakes Country as well. Whereas out to the west, we enjoyed some sunshine today. Here's a look at that low. You can see it's spiraling still in parts of Canada. That's going to continue to bring some rain showers along northern parts of Minnesota. Even into the day tomorrow, we may still be influenced by this a little bit into northeastern parts of our viewing area. So this powerful low still influencing us. Tonight, we are at 62 degrees in Fargo, 57 in Grand Forks, 54 over in Bemidji, and 56 is our current temperature in January. Town. So let's take a look at our forecast. Tonight we'll continue to be dealing with that wind out of the northwest. It's going to continue to be lighter than it was earlier today, though. And through the overnight hours, still some clouds, still a gray start to our day uh, as we wake up over in the Bedette area, Lake of the Woods, even down toward Bemidji and parts of Lakes Country. A few more clouds than off to the west. Temperatures in the upper 40s to some low 50s to start off tomorrow, too. So another one of those days. We don't want that extra layer to start off tomorrow. And notice the wind. Steady speeds in the teens, but we could still be seeing some gusts into the 20s, even some 30s into the afternoon because the low's still there, still bringing in some stronger winds uh, throughout, throughout the morning hours, rather. Now, looking ahead toward the noon hour, sunshine for a lot of places, some stubborn clouds still hanging on off to the east, and temperatures rising into the 50s there and some 60s across areas where we've got some sun into the afternoon, back into the 70s in a couple of places that would be southeastern North Dakota and our far western counties in our viewing area where we have the best bet for seeing 70 degrees once again the farther north and east you are that's where we'll be on the cooler side temperatures making their way into the 60s for highs tomorrow and again a little bit of a breeze winds into uh, the 20s generally out of the north northwest so tomorrow night we start to clear out but that also means a cool start to our day on Tuesday Here's a beautiful shot. This was a hazy, smoky sunset on Friday. We were being influenced by those wildfires, that smoke blowing off of those coming into our viewing area again. This is over Lake Lizzie. Helped to create a beautiful sunset. Thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing that with us. And over the next several days, We've got a nice period where we can relax. Tomorrow, 71 degrees, mostly sunny in Fargo, but again, a few more clouds to the north and east. And on Tuesday, temperatures start warming back into the upper 70s, even getting close to 80. And by Thursday and into Friday, we'll be into the 80s in the FM metro area and in parts of the Southern Valley. Our next chance for storms rolls in on Friday and Saturday, maybe even into Sunday a little bit. But we've got several days here where temperatures are going to be comfortable and we're going to be dry and sunny for cleaning up or drying out, <laughs> who, if you, however you may have been impacted by this weekend's weather. Definitely appreciate it. That's for sure. Thank you so much, Lisa. You